Oh! Yes, oh. and the oh. sun. Oh! 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 <laughs> Usually it takes like 20 minutes to get this right, but we got it nice. second try. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to New York City. Today I'm joined with Matthias Dondor. He is a Red Bull athlete, a BMX pro, and today we are going to be partnering with Red Bull to do a professional photo shoot with Matthias. So we are on the Williamsburg Bridge right now for sunrise. The light is absolutely amazing yeah we're going to be doing three different sections focusing on action so he does some crazy spinny tricks on the bike i feel like i'm undermining that but <laughs> you'll see it's pretty cool uh then we're going to be doing a portrait as well as a lifestyle section so all of that within the space over here it's looking good let's get into it So first things first, we are going to start off with the action sequence. We're going to be working in this space over here. It's a nice big space for Matthias. Also, we don't want to disturb the bike lanes too much. I'm going to let Matthias do his thing. I will get to explaining the photos. I've got a mic hooked up here, so I'll just talk as I'm going along, tell you guys what I'm doing, but I'll leave Matthias to doing his thing while I do my thing. <laughs> I guess let's just go for it. I'm going to do like a, a no hands team royal. So I'm going to lock my feet under the pedal. Okay. And like, let, my, let go right. of my hand. So okay. basically, I think the, the trick position is good when the bike is kind of facing you like this, so you can see the whole bike and, and everything. Basically, like a good BMX flatland photo is where you can see that it's a bike and that's like my body position is, is okay. It's but just like flat on with exactly, me. Exactly, yeah. Cool. All right, so as for settings, I'm probably going to go with a higher aperture, probably around seven, just so that I make sure that everything's in focus because he's moving so quickly. I don't want the focus to jump around. And by having a higher aperture, that just ensures that more things are in focus. I do want to have a higher shutter speed as well because he is moving fast. So I'm going to go at around 300 shutter speed. And because I have a high aperture and a high shutter speed, I'm going to have to bring my ISO up as well just to compensate for that light. But I really can't tell you the best settings for something like this it just depends on your camera on the lighting situation and just what's going on with your shoots in the current moments but these are my settings for right now let's get shooting matthias if you don't mind let's do it <laughs> all right when you're ready for it so i'm just getting a nice low angle here just so i can get the perspective in nicely we'll get matthias nicely in the middle and i'm just gonna fire away all right so those were looking really good is that kind oh, of wow, what you're looking yeah, exactly. for Exactly. Cool. So facing the I like camera. The, I'm in, in the middle of the X, you know? Yeah. I like the, the composition as well, these leading lines going into you. So I think I might want to switch to the wide angle and get a bit closer to you. I think it'll be cool just getting like even more of these things in. And then also just get even further back and do another wide. So two more times. Let's get wide. Let's get wide. Okay, so I'm switching to 16 to 35 right now. So we're just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to be a little bit closer to you getting a little bit wider Ooh, getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's perfect there so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in this area over here so just so you know where I am cool so I am going with the same settings all right let's do it I'm just waiting for the right moment and cool <laughs> nice I think I got I think it looks so much cooler with the wide because you just get so much oh, more wow. of the detail in oh yeah this is sick Let's do the wide one more time. I just want to get a little bit further back so you're a little bit smaller in the frame and I get more of the architecture in. So you want to focus on the architecture, not me, huh? I want to place you in the architecture so it all leads towards you. Go one more time, you, you're killing it. I do want to get a bit lower to the ground as well so I can aim angle more up just because this architecture is so cool. And... I think those might have been the best ones so far. And you get the graffiti on the floor as well. It's looking good. How many likes are we gonna get for this one? A lot of likes. Many likes. <laughs> many likes. <laughs> do you actually have a tattoo that says, what? <laughs> Why do you, wait, you gotta tell the story of how you got that tattoo. I don't know, it's a random tattoo. It's just a, 
Because my English is pretty broken sometimes. Yeah. And uh, when I say like I like something a lot, I just say many likes, so it turns into a joke, and okay. then now I've got many likes, and people think it's Instagram related, but <laughs> it's All not. Right. I but couldn't care less about the likes. I like this guy though. <laughs> Thank you. You want to try another trick? I got one that's pretty difficult to shoot. Okay. So maybe I put you on the line there, but. So up next, I want to move into this nice perspective shot over here. I think the leading lines will just be perfect all going into Matthias. Yeah, I think this just looks so cool over here. I'm going to start with the wide first. Just like, again, I can get like the whole of the architecture in. Also, these light rays coming through are just insane. Um, and then I think I'm going to switch to the telephoto after that and get a bit further back because I think it'll just be cool like compressing all of these layers with you in the middle as well. Could you just go a little further back like in that sunspot over there? I'm gonna bring down my ISO a little bit more for this one since the sun is coming out. I am still at an aperture of seven and 320 shutter speed. So when you're ready, you can do your thing. Cool. Yeah, I think that was good. The colors are so nice. Just you in that golden spot over wow. there. Wow, look at that. Woo! We're this good. one's quicker, dude. Yeah, I think it looks good. So now just swapping to the 70 to 200, just to get that compression in there. Um, there's just so much depth to this bridge, and I really want to compress all of those layers. We can try and shoot with the lower aperture as well. It might look kind of cool having the background out of focus, but Another reason why I wanted to have the aperture so high is so that everything would be in focus. Not even just so we made sure that Matthias was in focus, just because there's so much detail I wanted to get all of it. So I'm gonna do a trick where I jump from one side of my bike to the other. Okay. It's pretty difficult to shoot because I gotta be facing you. Right. And that there is only like kind of one only moment that uh, it looks good, but we're gonna make it happen together okay. as a team. We'll make it happen. We'll make it Fun happen. facts. I have a Make It Happen tattoo on my arm, which I can't really show right now because I'm wearing a jacket. But Matthias also has a Make It Happen tattoo. Such, I'm such a big which fan. Is so crazy. Like, we just figured this out yesterday, and it's just like such a coincidence. So, that was a pretty cool fun fact. But we're going to make the shot happen. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, this is looking so good. Nice. Woo! Yes, Woo! and the Woo! sun. Woo! <laughs> Usually it takes like 20 minutes to get this right, but we got nice. it second try. Nice. I feel like we're going that is like perfectly straight on. <laughs> it seems like he's happy with the photo. Oh wow. And we got the sun flare coming the in. We got the branding, we oh. got the sun, got that white jacket that's pretty fuego. <laughs> I mean, come on guys, go, go get some go leave, Go leave a like on Instagram. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> no jokes aside, I'm really stuck on that. Whoa, yeah, with the sun. I know. Yeah, this one right here. Yep. Well, this one's gonna get many, many likes. Many likes. Many likes. Cool, I think we are good with the action shots. Yeah, so I think we'll just move on to the lifestyle stuff now. Just like have a quick break, chill out, and then we'll get started with that kind of oh, stuff. Yeah. All right, so starting off with the lifestyle stuff, I think my first shot, I want to get Matthias just sitting up against the railing over here. Again, just getting this nice perspective in as well as the sun coming through again. Also, I've switched to the 35mm 1.4. I'm going to ask you if you could please just, just chill out. Now it's the easy part of the job. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking maybe if you put the bike on like that side, just so I can see you better. So that'll be good there. And then, yeah, you can just sit down right there. Okay, we're going to do on the railing. I was thinking on the floor, but that looks cool as well. Just look out to your left. Cool. And I'm just gonna switch up my angle a little bit as well. Just get in a bit tighter and some portrait stuff. Again, I just wanna make sure that he is fully in focus. Obviously, he's the main subject, so we need to make sure. Just look past me, like over here. Yeah. Even though it'd be cool of just your feet by the railing here. So one thing that's cool about lifestyle as well is you don't have to focus on the person's face, kind of making them more anonymous and just getting some more finer details of their lifestyle. So I'm just using the same perspective here with the sun coming through in the background, but this time only focusing on the bike and on his feet. Cool. Yeah, this is looking good. Cool, I'm gonna get a side on as well, just so I can see the whole bike. So 
My only concern with the lifestyle stuff here is, especially with his head, is that a lot of these beams are cutting across the back of him and like cutting his head, which I don't particularly like. So when you are taking portraits, like getting the full body and make sure that there aren't like random lines cutting through. So if you do have his head in the shot, try and find like some negative space by using the sky. So there are these patches over here where it is the negative space. So just try and get his head in that section of the shot. So here's a quick example. If I just come a little bit lower down over here, that gives his head some nice space, but still keeps the architecture in and then some leading lines going in towards his body. So I think I'm happy with that. We can move on to the next lifestyle shot. I think let's go to that location over there. And uh, yeah, this is fun. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are enjoying the video as well. Okay, moving on to our next shot. I've asked Matthias just to grab his, what do you call this again? It's a wrench. A wrench, just to grab it. I feel like you should probably know that as a guy, but I was like wrench, ratchet, I don't know which one it is. Sockets, that's another one. Having fun? <laughs> <laughs> You're just some kind of robots, like taking yourself apart. Uh, anyway, so a big part of the BMX lifestyle is like working on the bike, taking it apart, fixing the bike, all those kind of things. So I'm just gonna ask Matthias to do his thing on the side over here. The light is just so perfect right now as well. Cool, let me just get further back here. The slides is just beautiful coming through from behind him. On the train, <laughs> perfect timing. Uh, cool, do you want to just work on the back one for a bit? Oh yeah, let's work on the back one. Just because the chain is pretty cool in there. Just get some more details to it. Gonna come over here and go for it. Let me just get one more like this. I think I'm happy with those. Let's just do one where you're just standing in the middle here quick. Just angle like a little bit more that way. Wow, that sun is really coming through. Cool, I feel like this fits a bit more into the portrait things, but it's all right. I think we are good. Good to move on. Should we go to the that part down there with the pink things? At the bottom, yeah, further down. Yeah, so that was the other location I had. Um, I think we are good for this location now. So we'll move down there and get onto the portrait stuff. So first portrait up, I'm just gonna get Matthias in the center of the frame here, just sitting on his bike. I'll get one that's a little bit further out, uh, but then definitely gonna go in a lot closer, just get the top of his bike, uh, like cropping it off at his waist, so we can really focus in on his face and the leading lines going in onto him. Also, the light is coming nicely from that side as well, so we should get some nice light coming onto his face. We could be in the middle really quickly. Okay, just look over to that side over there. Perfect. Cool, I wanna come in a little closer. One just look straight at me at the lens. Wow. <laughs> so I think we'll roll with that. I'm happy with this location over here. I just want to get Mateus sitting up here. I am going to get him looking at me with the sun right behind him, as well as this fence perspective out on the right. So let's do it. It's going to bring my aperture all the way down. I think it looks good. I just want to get closer here. Just look out that way again. All right, if you could just jump down, but I'm just gonna get even tighter on you. Oh, it actually might look nice with your bike like standing up next to you. Just look over that way again, like more. I think we're good. I think we've done it. We've Successfully. got some sick accent shot. <laughs> sick. We've got some really cool lifestyle shots. And a model portrait from model school. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty good what, morning. What more could you want? <laughs> but, I mean, now back to bed. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, Matthias, thank you so much. A pleasure, dude. It's been, it's been real. I really <laughs> appreciate it, guys. Please go check him out on Instagram. Otherwise, he is killing it out there in the world. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thank you again to Red Bull for being a part of this whole thing. It has been absolutely amazing. I hope you guys managed to learn something. But uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one.
Hey, have a great day, guys.